right, back in the district, uh, headed to my favorite running uh, location in, let's call it the District of Columbia, right? So uh, I've been on this version of FSD for the last couple of days, just really trying to test it out. I've done, you know, some camera calibration activities to, you know, to make sure that, you know, I, I gave this beta version the, its fair shake. Uh, I've noticed some interesting things about this beta. I mean, it's much, much, much more better with uh, certain things like roundabouts, uh, unprotected lefts and rights. But you know, the, you know, those are specific things, and you know, I would say Tesla as a company can optimize for those. But the truth is, right? It's like you know, what is the general performance? And I think you know, obviously, you all are joining me so that we can see what that looks like, right? So as I'm driving, you should know, you know, I'm, we are surrounded by monuments and all kinds of cool, snazzy, let's call it history. Uh, so, so hopefully, you all get to enjoy the views, even though it's dark. You can still see and experience some of them. Um, yeah, so so overall, driving is pretty good. I've had some weird disengagement-free dates. Um, you know, going to Home Depot, whatever. I'll just literally get out of my garage and go click. And the car does a pretty good job. I think common themes I'm seeing are uh, the jerkiness that you know that would um, that would exist. You know, with certain turns, though. You know, is essentially gone. Um, and what I'm experiencing is some pretty good uh, performance overall. So, so I can't really complain. Yeah, I mean, my drive is, is it's just so smooth, right? The thing about DC driving is, you know, new roads pop up out of nowhere. There's rules uh, that are applied out of nowhere. Um, and, well, I think right now I'm cooking like chicken and grease, right? Uh, my big thing is to avoid getting kicked out of beta due to, uh, how do you say, not paying attention. Uh, but... I think I, I am in the mastery stage of this human machine uh, paradigm. <laughs> I tell you what, uh, there are a couple of things that I am noticing about, let's call it the full self-driving paradigm. I think it's becoming increasingly apparent that I don't think cars are going to drive themselves for a couple of years. I think there will be a you know a governance aspect of that that will need to be overcome and then I also think that you know people are going to be willing to accept the risk across the board whether it be drivers pedestrians blah 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 and uh, you know because of the the randomness of earth I just don't see a, a, an opportunity for For truthful self driving, but it's it's working. I mean, it's doing it right now, but it's just I'm having a hard time envisioning people being, you know, the, let's call it the legislators being okay with this because uh, it's working, and I can't really complain right now, right? And it's getting better every day, every week. It feels like sorry, every day. No, it's getting better every update. So. But like, look at those two complex maneuvers, right? Like they, you know, from a, for a human's perspective, would just cause stress. This thing executed it like it was, you know, easy. Right? You can't beat that. And then, again, I go straight to autopilot seamlessly. It's almost like I can't tell the difference. And then now it executes a lane change. It's telling me it's going to do the lane change with the beep you heard. And then it does it. Now, why it's going 25 miles an hour? Don't know. Don't really care at this point. It's probably you know self-induced by me. But here we enter a very interesting scenario, right? So the lane ahead is closed. And I need to make this right turn. Uh, coming up forward. Obviously, I think it gave me that warning because it's trying to make sure that I have my hands on the steering wheel in this uh, complex area. The lane wasn't closed, so that's a good thing.
so I'm getting ready to go to my run spot. Um, yeah, everything seems chill except for that pothole. Um, let's see if it actually goes. Good, 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 good. So it's reading those vehicles are coming pretty good. And then that's what it's supposed to do now. I'm just kind of checking to make sure that I don't need to take over, but that was pretty good. Fantastical. Fantastical, right? Like for you all, I'm guessing it feels like you're watching a movie. But for me, it's like I'm experiencing this psychedelic, you know, Transformers, Matrix 11 state where just random stuff is just happening around me. And it's just so awesome. And all I'm doing really is just uh, supervising. Right. Oh. It's funny. Uh, so this bridge, I think it's called Key Bridge. I, I might be completely wrong. I don't know anything. I just live here. I just really experience here. The live is the wrong word. It's this experience I experience here. Um, and this bridge feels like it should be like a a race alley, right? And like vehicle, you know, car race alley. Uh, there have been times where I've seen, you know, some supercars kind of, you know, roll through here and, and put, you know, let's call it the, the pedal to the metal, uh, almost like they were rest racing, but they weren't. Um, yeah, so I didn't like that interaction that just occurred right there with the vehicle doing the switch to the left, switch to the right, then switch back to the left. Like why? Right. So I'm not intervening. I'm just reporting it to Tesla because it's silly. Okay. So I need to make this left. Oh, took way too long to do that. Way too long. All right. Oh, that was kind of scary. So let's report that to Tesla. Because I didn't like that. I didn't take over, but I didn't like it. And I hope they look at it. I should have probably taken over. In fact, if there were cars there, uh, I would have taken over it. Um, but what's funny is that left turn looks different every single time. Um, can't explain it, cannot explain it, but it's just kind of the nature of the beast at this point. Um, and, and it makes sense if you think about how they're doing what they're doing, right? They're, you know, they're taking the algorithmic approach where, you know, inputs derive outputs and it's nighttime. So we have a new set of inputs, you know, new set of detections, right? That could be new bikes, new cars, new whatevers. And the logic, right? The... The logic for their code, you know, reacted appropriately to my environment. So, all I can say is sick. <laughs> you know, I don't know if you all have watched uh, the SNL skit with, uh, I think it was the one where Elon was on, right? That, that one was memorable for me because that was the first time I saw the SNL character, Chad. And I tell you what, that was like, it reinforced everything I felt about just my life and, you know, being chill, right? And and my wife, it drives my wife nuts because, like, she'll send me, and it's not, I'm not chill by any means. I think I'm probably actually pretty intense, but she'll send me messages and I'll be like, sick, noise, you know what I mean? Like, Chad-like, so... I think those Chad one-liners, uh, I love them, uh, especially, I love them in public, especially like restaurants when they ask questions and I'm like, sick. And they're like, you know, and it kind of takes them like, what? Like, why did he just say that? But it's, it's, uh, it's almost like my little icebreaker. Uh, but if you haven't seen it, check out the SNL episode with uh, Elon Musk where he revealed, uh, some interesting personal things and... It's kind of funny, actually. I liked it. So there's cars behind me, and they're probably like, why is he driving so slow? Not knowing I'm letting the robot drive. So I just tapped the accelerator because I don't feel like dealing with other people. Um, yeah, we made it. Yeah. You know, my greatest concern, you know, with this beta stuff is that, you know, someone is going to be angry at me for... I don't know, slowing down too fast or stopping too fast or whatever. Uh, and then they'll follow me and I'll have to go plaid mode. Uh, but it hasn't happened yet, so we'll see.
Okay, well, thank you all for joining me. It's time to train. I hope you all have a wonderful day.